Sky and Space Global is a new space company which strives to disrupt and revolutionize satellite communications market. The way we do that is through the use of nanosatellites, which are very small satellites, the use of advanced technology and software, and being able to provide affordable communication services to anyone, anywhere, anytime. And when I'm saying uh, services, this is phone calls, texting, instant messaging, WhatsApp, machine to machine and internet of things. The three diamonds, the red, green and blue are about this size, so kind of a half a shoebox size, and we will use them to demonstrate all of our capabilities. So we will launch them three weeks from now, and we will demonstrate doing a phone call with them, sending a text message, uh, downloading data from a flying airplane over Australia down to the ground in real time, uh, doing emails, etc., etc. So all of the capabilities that Sky and Space Global will provide as commercial uh, services will be demonstrated and actually will be sold by the three diamonds to our first uh, commercial customers. Well, first of all, our satellites, if you are thinking what, what are the differences, are much more smaller. Uh, usual satellites are uh, tens of kilograms or hundreds of kilograms in mass, and ours are three kilograms each. Again, this size instead of huge sizes. Uh, we're utilizing the improvements and advancement in technology, in computer science, uh, processing power, uh, etc. So you can provide the same existing services of, let's say, satellite phones, but with much smaller, low-cost satellites. If you have satellites, you want to put them to space, so you need a launcher or a launch provider. Our first three satellites, because there are only three and they're very small, we're piggybacking on an Indian launch on board the PSLV launcher. Highly reliable, very efficient uh, launch, which is due, as I've said, three weeks from now, uh, and we, we keep our fingers crossed. For the constellation itself, we need dedicated launches because we need to set not only the schedule, but also the orbit parameters, the entire launch parameters for that. We have a contract with Virgin Galactic, or maybe I should call them Virgin Orbit, they've just changed their names, uh, for four dedicated launches that will deliver uh, a significant part of our constellation to space, but we're also talking with other launch providers as well through the entire globe, and once we'll get an agreement with them as well, of course, we'll announce that. One of the challenges that we uh, have as a satellite constellation operator is controlling the orbits of the satellites. In order to control the orbits of the satellites, you need to know exactly where they are at each given moment and how that orbits change over time. The way we approach that is signing an agreement with the uh, U.S. Department of Defense, which monitor space objects. So they will monitor our system, they will provide us with early warnings from other objects in, in, uh, in space, so it's a mutual benefit uh, agreement that we have. Uh, we are always working on additional agreements. We have a lot of stuff on the pipeline, but we have obligations to our shareholders. Once something happens, we disclose that. Before that, a lot can happen. We're working on a lot of things. Company financials are uh, quite solid. At the moment, we're just post the last uh, capital raise of $10 million. So we uh, have uh, a good enough and solid funding for the operations of the company for, for, the, uh, for the future. Uh, this follows two additional very successful fundraising that we had. We are working on our full constellation, that's 200 satellites, launching these 200 satellites. That will require additional funding down the road, but we are at a very good position pre-launch of the Three Diamonds as far as the market cap is concerned, as far as the possibilities, what's on the table, and what the future foresees for the company itself. The company looks at uh, generating revenues as soon as possible. So we will launch our first uh, satellites, the three diamonds. We will test them for a few weeks. And immediately afterwards, after we make sure everything works properly, we will start generating revenues because we already have committed customers, signed agreements with them, and we will do additional commercial demonstrations actually all throughout the globe with additional customers for future agreements and future uh, revenues. The big revenues will start to come once we get this constellation up and running. So by 2019, we foresee hundreds of millions of dollars in revenues with conservative estimates. As I'm looking at the uh, near future and, and the long-term uh, activities of the company, so for the immediate future, of course, launching the satellite successfully and operating them and starting to generate revenues. Immediately after that, continue working on the constellation on which we have started and deploying it successfully in space. If I look at the even longer term, so let's say three, four years from now, uh, we have 
very, very um, challenging expectations and plans to expand our business to other areas as well, but I think it's still a bit premature to talk about it at this time.